I am not just a mere object, I am a wallet, a silent witness to the various chapters of my owner's life. My life began in a small leather workshop, where skilled hands meticulously crafted me. From that moment onwards, I embarked on a journey filled with stories, memories, and the ebb and flow of currency. Allow me to narrate my autobiography, tracing my path from my creation to the present. Birth and Early Days My existence took shape when the craftsman selected a fine piece of leather and carefully stitched it together. It was in that workshop that I was born, each stitch binding me to my purpose. I emerged as a small, elegant wallet, ready to carry the hopes and dreams of my owner. The first owner. My initial days were spent with my first owner, a young woman named Sarah. I held her identification cards, a picture of her loved ones and a few crisp bills. Sarah carried me with pride and I could sense her joy every time she took me out to make a purchase or to share a memory with friends. The adventures begin. As the years passed, I changed hands. Each new owner brought with them a unique set of experiences. I accompanied a businessman to important meetings, a student through the highs and lows of academic life, and a traveller on countless journeys around the world. With each new chapter, I accumulated more stories and a diverse collection of currencies. Wear and Tear Life was not always gentle. I faced wear and tear, my leather showing the scars of time. Yet, these marks were a testament to the adventures I had been a part of. Stains, scratches and creases told the tale of countless moments. Both joyous and challenging. The Digital Age The world changed and so did the way people managed their finances. Plastic cards and digital wallets became the norm. Though my role diminished, I continued to hold sentimental value for my owners. They couldn't let go of the tangible reminder of their past. Retirement After years of loyal service, I eventually retired from my active duty. My final owner, recognizing my significance, placed me carefully in a drawer. While I may no longer carry cash or cards, I still hold the memories of those who owned me, their journeys, and their experiences. I may be a simple wallet, but my life has been rich with the stories of those I served. From the day I was created, I embarked on a journey that mirrored the lives of my owners, witnessing their successes, challenges, and personal growth. As I rest in retirement, I am a silent testament to the enduring value of the tangible in an increasingly digital world. My autobiography is a reflection of the enduring bond between humans and their possessions and the memories that live within them.